Welcome to Yoga Strength class today. Um, with us, we have Melanie, Shelby, and Kate, and my name is Jody. Um, we are going to go through a yoga strength workout today. If you have a set of weights, um, get those near, because we're going to use those in our workout today. We're going to begin by sitting up nice and tall in a seated meditation, elongating that neck and closing our eyes. Taking a few deep breaths here, trying to let go of the outside world, clear our minds before we begin our yoga practice. Just letting your thoughts flow in and out. And in today's class, we'll be using that ujjayi breath Inhaling in through the nose and exhaling with a constriction in the back of your throat. So deep breaths today. One more deep breath. And we're going to open our eyes and push back to child's pose. <laughs> Melanie here will be doing our modifications today. So if you feel over challenged by any of the exercises that we're doing, just feel free to look and follow along with Melanie. So in child's pose, pushing your hips down towards your heels, opening those fingers, taking a deep breath, pushing forward onto all fours. Making sure those wrists are directly under your shoulders, knees are directly under your hips. Drop your belly button down and cow. Reverse this in cat. Warming up our spine. One more time, cow. And cat. Nice, and let's go ahead and curl our toes and stand up into downward facing dog. Feel free to do whatever your body's craving. Maybe that's pedal your heels out in the back. We are gonna warm our bodies up a little bit more. We're gonna shift our bodies forward into plank position or modified plank like Melanie. Wrists directly under your shoulders, elbows in at your side as we Chaturanga through crocodile. Up dog, exhaling, down dog. We're gonna generate some heat in our bodies by repeating that Chaturanga. Shifting forward, shoulders directly under your wrists, elbows in at your side, crocodile. Open your heart here and up dog. Exhale, release, down dog. Or child's pose like Melanie. One more time, shift forward and let's hold it here for a moment and talk about our form. Lift those hips, drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Wrists are directly under your shoulders, strengthening our core, generating heat, slowly lowering down in crocodile. Up to up dog, opening that heart, and exhaling back, downward facing dog. And again, anything your body's craving, just bicycle those heels. And we're gonna look forward and let our feet follow our eyes to our hands. Pausing for a moment here in forward fold, rolling ourselves up one vertebrae at a time like a rag doll. Inhaling our arms up to the sky, bringing them heart center, chair pose, pausing briefly, inhaling up, exhaling down, forward fold. Feel free to use a block in forward fold if that's more comfortable for you. You can place your hands on your shins, a block, or the floor. We're gonna step back with our right leg in crescent lunge pose here, bringing our hands to our thighs, heart center, and then shine up to the sky through those fingertips, challenging yourself with your gaze by looking up or forward, whatever you're more comfortable with. Nice. Release to the floor, Chaturanga. And remember, every downward facing dog is a chance to just let go of whatever's on your mind. 
and you can just begin again. Looking forward, letting your feet follow your eyes. Forward fold, pausing here, rolling your body up like a rag doll, one vertebra at a time. Inhaling your arms up, bringing your hands heart center, letting your hips go down. Pausing here for a moment in chair, inhaling your arms up, exhaling down, forward fold. Pausing again. Stepping back with the left foot this time. Crescent lunge pose. Modification for crescent lunge is just bring the left knee down to the floor. And again, you're welcome to bring those hands heart center or extend the arms to the sky. Keep that chest tall. Remember to let those shoulder blades just melt down your back. Release, chaturanga. Hands to the floor, crocodile. Open your heart, up dog. Exhale, let go, down dog. Nice. Look forward, let your feet follow your eyes. Sitting your hips down, chair pose. Hands heart center as we flow through chair pose. Hands heart center. Dropping your hips back as if you're sitting in an imaginary chair. Opening your heart. Generating a little bit more heat. And one more, and we're gonna hold our chair pose. Holding chair here. Chest is lifted, little squeeze to the belly. Let's take that left elbow to the right thigh. Twisting chair, revolving our heart to the right, looking up at the sky. And if you need to modify, just stay center. Inhale, center, exhale, twist the other way. A lot of movement here between the elbow and the knee. Knee pushing into elbow, elbow pushing into knee. Revolving that heart around as far as you can. Nice, and release to forward fold. Shake your head out here in forward fold. And hop back. Downward facing dog. Modification for down dog is child's pose. From down dog, let's raise that right leg. Pushing through the left heel, we're gonna send that right leg forward to find warrior one. Go ahead and grab your hand weights. Chest is lifted, pushing the knee forward in warrior one. We're gonna add a shoulder press here. So controlled movement, nice and fluid. Chest is lifted, little squeeze to the belly. Pushing the weights up and down with the shoulder press in warrior one. Make sure the back blade of that left foot is down and the knee is pushing forward. Again, a modification here is no weights or just hold the warrior one steady with no movement at all. One more, set those weights down, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Remember to return to that breath. When it gets challenging, you can just return to your breathing. Raise that left leg to the sky, send it forward, grab your weights. Warrior one here, this time with the bicep curl. We're gonna curl up slow, down slow. Squeeze, release. Make sure that outer blade of the back right foot is down. Controlled motion here, chest is lifted. Little squeeze to the belly. One more. And you can set those weights down and chaturanga. Hands to the floor. Controlled movement, elbows in through crocodile, opening the heart. Exhale, let it all go. We're gonna repeat that one more time on each side. So raise that right leg, you know where we're going. Find warrior one. Grab those weights for the shoulder press. Warrior one legs, shoulder press with the arms. Remember to breathe. Push the knee forward, abs are engaged. 
two more. Nice. Set the weights down, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Raise the left, and let's take the other side. Same thing, warrior one legs with the bicep curl. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Slow controlled movement. Your muscles work in both directions. The up phase and the down phase. Two more. Nice. Set the weights down. Chaturanga. Open your heart. Exhale, down dog, let go. We're gonna raise our right leg to the sky. And we are gonna flip our dog over. Flip your dog over with that right leg. Hand comes to the sky. Put your hips up. For more of a challenge, you can go on those toes. Shine up through the fingertips. Make sure this left wrist is under the shoulder. Contracting your glutes up, lifting those hips. Modification is just a regular side plank with the knee down to the floor. So a kneeling side plank. Nice. Go ahead and flip back to three-legged dog. Send that right leg through. Grab your weights, warrior two. And just hold your weights here, push the knee forward. Set the left weight down, right weight comes up. Reverse warrior with a slow controlled tricep extension. Push the knee forward, slow and controlled. Make sure you're breathing. Nice, three more. Three, two, one. Set the weights down, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Again, in the modified chaturanga, your knees stay attached to the floor, so you're in kneeling plank, kneeling crocodile or chaturanga, and then cobra, and then child's pose. Good, go ahead and raise that left flag. We're gonna flip our dog the other way. So flip it over. Hips to the sky, shining through those fingertips. Go up on those toes for more of a challenge, or you can stay with Mal there in a kneeling side plank. Fingers are spread. Nice, flip it back, three-legged dog. Send it on through, grab those weights. Warrior two, weights in hand. Reaching your fingers away from each other, reaching the weights away from each other. Set that right weight down. Reverse your warrior with a slow controlled tricep extension. Nice, three more. Three, two, and one, set the weights down, and we're gonna step to the front of our mat. And we're gonna take ragdoll here, grabbing your elbows, and just letting your head hang forward. Just kind of shake that head out. Let your upper body spill forward. And now's a chance to just let go of whatever's in your mind that you need to get rid of. Just let it spill out of your head. We're gonna sink our hips down, hands up for chair pose. And see, can you extend your hands up anymore? Can you drop your hips down anymore? Nice work. And from here, we're gonna stand straight up to tree. There's a couple options, kickstand, 
foot on the calf, or you can assist that foot all the way up for tree pose. And you can also take whatever expression of tree pose you're comfortable with. Hands up. Nice. And from tree, let's take that left foot and hinge forward into dancer. Balancing on that right leg. And modification, just a simple quad stretch with your right arm up. Release from dancer, hands to the floor, hop back, chaturanga. Nice, look forward, let your feet follow your eyes. Pause here for a moment, in forward fold. Walk those hands up your legs, lengthen forward in monkey. And on your next exhale, sit down into chair. Hips go low, hands up. See if you can reach up any more. And just return to that breath. Whenever it gets challenging, you can return to that breath. Same thing in life. If you feel stressed out, challenge, just return to that breath. Nice, and let's stand up on the left leg. Tree pose here. Kickstand, which Mel will stay in. Foot to the calf or foot to the upper leg. Just make sure you don't put that foot on your knee. Take whatever expression of tree you're comfortable with. Chest is lifted, a little squeeze to the belly, and just find something to focus on and don't let your concentration break. Nice. Release from tree, walk your hands down your body, hop back, high plank, and chaturanga. Exhale, let it all go. We're gonna raise that right leg from down dog. Drop your heel to your glute. Drive that right knee to the ceiling. Open your arms up a little bit more and we're gonna do some shoulder push-ups here. Bringing the upper body down, pushing back. Down, up, down, push up. Melanie is showing you the modification. Three more, two, and one. Nice. Push back three-legged dog and take that right leg all the way through to crescent lunge pose. Both toes are forward in crescent lunge. You can bring your hands heart center. Lift your hands to the sky. Shine up through your fingertips. Lean back just a little bit. Bring those hands back heart center. Twisting lunge. Bring the left elbow to the right thigh. Revolving that heart. Looking up to the sky or forward. Plugging that back leg in, pushing the heel down, engaging the quads. Try to straighten that left leg. And just see here, can you revolve your heart anymore? Your modification, your left knee is down to the floor. You're welcome to not be in the twist if that feels more comfortable for you for the modification or add the twist is fine. Nice, and release hands to the floor, chaturanga. From down dog, raise the left leg, bend the heel to the glute, drive the knee up to the ceiling, shoulder push-ups, open those hands, down, push up, down, up. Three more, three, two, and one. Nice, send that left leg all the way through. Both toes stay forward, crescent lunge, hands heart center. Shine your arms up, look up, lean back just a little, and then bring those hands heart center. Take the right elbow to the left thigh and twist. Revolve your heart around, plugging that right leg in, pushing it down straight, engaging the quads, revolving that heart. And remember to just return to your breath here. Always squeezing muscle to bone, squeezing everything into midline. Nice. 
And go ahead and release, hands to the floor, chaturanga. Open your heart, exhale, let it all go. And let's bring our knees to the floor, push back in child's pose, and just rest for a moment. Returning to breath, taking a moment of rest here. Good, and we're gonna shift forward onto our belly. Shifting forward, watching Melanie for a modification, we are going to take bow pose. So you're gonna reach for your ankles, keeping your knees together, flex those feet, push your feet into your hands. Lifting your chest just a little bit, feet are flexed. And our modification is just the one-legged bow chest still stay centered and I'm grabbing my left leg with my left hand nice release from bow to child's pose releasing that low back and we're gonna do that one more time shifting forward onto our belly grabbing for our ankles Flexing our feet, pushing our feet into our hands, lifting our chest, keeping our neck neutral, just gazing out over the brow. Nice. Release from bow to child's pose. Nice, and walking the upper body up here. Just leaning back for a moment to stretch those quads in a quad stretch. Knees stay together, hands come behind the feet, fingertips forward, stretch those quads out. And if this is too difficult for you, just come up taller and just hold in a taller position. Still sitting your weight back down towards those heels. Nice, and release those legs out from behind you. Grab one weight or no weight like Mel will show you. And we're gonna come into boat pose with our weight. So we're gonna raise our feet up, dropping your shoulders low, balancing here in boat pose. We're gonna lean back just a little bit and add a slow controlled twist. Squeezing those abs like a sponge, twisting side to side, slow and controlled. Balancing here, keeping the abs engaged. Four more, four, three, two, one. Nice, set that weight down. Slowly lower yourselves down, knees to chest. And from knees to chest, we're gonna take happy baby. So we are gonna move our ankles and knees away from each other, grabbing your big toe or the bottom of your feet. You can do it either way. And move your legs, your ankles away from each other, pressing the small of your back into the mat, releasing that low back, stretching the inner thigh area. Modification is just continue to keep knees pulled into the chest. Nice, and release from happy baby, knees to chest. So we're gonna do a little bit of core work here, bringing our head up off the mat, hands behind your head, elbows out like a hanger, a slow controlled bicycle here. Pointing the toe, extending it all the way out, pushing the small of your back down into the mat, drawing your belly button in towards your spine. And the modification that I'm doing is I'm just touching the floor continuing to keep bent knees throughout my bicycle. And each time touching the floor with the opposite foot. Nice, four, three, two, 
And one. Good. Knees to chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Plant those feet on the floor. Line your heels up with your sit bones. And we're going to go into a modified bridge, lifting our hips off the mat one vertebrae at a time. Tucking our shoulders in nice and low. Pushing our hips up to the sky. We're going to get ready to invert our body. You're welcome to stay here in a modified bridge pose if you choose. Or you can take one hand under one hip, the opposite hand under the opposite hip. Lift your legs one at a time, pushing up into shoulder stand. And from shoulder stand, feel free to let gravity work, taking your legs into plow, but don't ever feel like you need to force yourself there. Taking slow, deep breaths here, keeping your back supported, inverting our bodies. Nice, and slowly release out of plow, shoulder stand, or bridge, bringing your back down one vertebrae at a time, setting your hips on your hands into fish. The crown of your head goes to the mat, squeeze your elbows together, open your chest, stretching your throat and neck. If you don't feel comfortable with fish, just keep the legs elongated, your head rested, as if you were going into final relaxation. Nice. Releasing from fish into meeting Melanie in final relaxation. Palms are down at your side, facing up. Let your toes drop off to the side. Right foot to the right, left foot to the left. Tuck your chin into your chest just a little bit and return to breath. Closing those eyes. Again, trying to calm our bodies and our minds, letting go of judgment, letting go of expectation, and just simply being present right here, right now, letting those thoughts flow in and out. Feeling your body relax more and more, allowing yourself just to melt into that mat, surrendering to your mat. Nice. Taking two more deep breaths, relaxing yourself a little bit deeper. After that second breath, go ahead and wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, continue that movement to your wrists and your ankles. Open those eyes and slowly, one at a time, bring your knees into your chest. Point and flex those feet. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, rock to a seated, easy seated position. Excellent job, you guys. Great work today. Thank you for joining us for Yoga Strength. I hope you have a wonderful day.